Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to play Airmail by Tony Lopez, a board game recommended for children aged 10 and above, from 2 to 5 players, and with an approximate duration of 30 to 75 minutes. The aim of the game is to make the most profit for your airline company. Preparation Place the board in the centre of the table on the corresponding side according to the number of players. Then take the corresponding express delivery cards, separate them by colour, and place them on the board. The express delivery cards are personal objectives that are scored at the end of the game and consist of making a delivery to a specific city. Next, tip over the first two express delivery cards of each division and place one city bonus face up on each of the cities indicated by those cards. Once done, return these cards to the bottom of their respective decks. Deal nine random postal service decree cards in the nine boxes marked for decrees on the permit tracks surrounding the map. Return the remaining decree cards to the box. The decree cards are common objectives that players will score throughout the game. Form the permit deck next to the board and flip over the first four cards. Then draw the first card from the deck and place it in the starting square of the permit track. In two player games, place a card in each space marked with this icon. Shuffle the special permit cards and form a face down deck next to the permit deck. Permit cards are the cards that allow you to perform the various actions in the game. The special permit cards have a joker on one of their two sides. Take the planes, packages and counters of the colour of your choice. Place your technology counter on square 1 of the technology track and one of your aircraft next to the starting square of the permit track. This will be your executive plane. The starting player takes the starting player token and sets their income counter to $10. The second player sets theirs to $11 and so on. Each player also draws 4 permit cards and 1 special permit card to form their hand. Finally, starting with the last player and proceeding counterclockwise, each player draws an express card from 2 different divisions, bearing in mind that you cannot repeat the same colour combination chosen by another player. Player's turn. On your turn choose one of two options. Play a permit card from your hand or ask for a grant. Play a permit card. To play a permit card you must place it adjacent to a card that is already on the permit track. To do this both ends must be of the same colour or multicoloured, i.e. the joker. The colour you use to connect your card will in turn determine the active division. In this case you could only play a card that has the colour blue, red or a joker. If you play a permit card in the square occupied by a postal service decree card, set it aside. Once your turn is over, the decree card will be scored for all players. This option gives you three operation points, which you can spend on four available actions. Each action costs one operation point and you cannot repeat actions. The actions are Expand your postal network. Place a plane from your reserve on a free route in the active division. There can only be one plane on each route. If you have no more planes left in your reserve, move one of the aircraft you have already placed. This is the only action that can be repeated on your turn. Get a new permit card. You can draw either the first card from the public permits deck or one of the face-up cards. If you draw a face-up card, replace the card with another from the deck. Improve your technology level. Move your counter one step forward on the technology track. Each level indicates the number of routes you can use for delivery and the reward you get for it. Make a delivery. Send a package from your reserve via routes. To do so, both cities must be connected by your own planes or those of other players. The origin or destination city must belong to the active division. You cannot fly along more routes than your technology level allows. The route out of the city of origin should be your own. After this first route, using the routes of other players will earn them $1 for each of their routes you use. The city of origin can never be in the same division as the destination city. You cannot send a parcel to a city that has already received a parcel from you. When you deliver the package of your colour in the destination city, you also receive the reward corresponding to the number of routes you have travelled. In addition, if the city contains a bonus, keep it and apply its effect. For example, Leia plays a permit card and activates the Southeast Division. She makes a delivery from Atlanta to El Paso via Jackson and Dallas. All routes are hers except the last one, so the red player earns $1. Leia takes the bonus in El Paso and drops off a package from her reserve. As she has used three routes, she receives the corresponding reward indicated on the technology track. She earns $1 and decides to draw one express card from the active division. 
Finally, she receives the bonus she took from El Paso, and keeps the token in her play zone. If you don't want to, or can't play a permit card, you can ask for a grant. Ask for a grant. When you choose this option, you do these two actions in order. Draw a card from the public permit supply, or one card from the special permit deck. This is the only way to get special permits. Move your executive plane along the cards placed on the permit track and perform the action indicated by the card you stop on. The first time you do this, you may choose one of the two paths to the left or right. You cannot move through empty squares or end your move where there is another plane. The actions available on these cards are Make a delivery All divisions are considered active for this action. Move your counter two steps along the technology track. Place two planes on any two free routes. Draw two urgent dispatch cards, each from a different division of your choice. Or choose one of the four actions above. The end of the game. The end of the game is triggered when the permit deck is exhausted, a player places their last package on the map, or the fifth or sixth degree is scored, depending on the number of players. Play to the end of the current round, after which one more round is played. Upon completing this final round, the game is over and you will then add the following to your income earned during the game. The income from each express delivery card in your hand you have fulfilled. The income from having diversified and fulfilled the express delivery cards of different divisions according to the following table. And add $1 for every two permit cards left in your hand. Whoever has the most income wins the game. In the event of a tie, whoever has the fewest routes covered among the tied players wins. So. That's everything you need to know to play Airmail, a board game in which you will feel like a real tycoon in the aviation industry. Will you be able to take your company to the top?